Because it must be very tough. Like you said, you wouldn't wish this on, on your worst enemy. Um, and, and yet you're, you're going through this, you're suffering so much. And you look down at kind of when you made your appearance at Wimbledon, the, the tweets that have been put on your own account of people coming to their own conclusion about why you've lost this weight. And, and just to read a few of them here, people are saying, I'm worried for Marion. I think she's anorexic. I'm a big fan of hers when she was playing and loved her physique then. Somebody else says, well, that's a shocker. Is she anorexic? She does not look well. Loads of people saying this. Exactly. How does that feel? Well, that's why I wanted to come in here and explain to them. First of all, because maybe there is other person around the world that suffers the same thing from me, and uh, maybe we can all join and be supportive. Maybe if this clinic is able to treat me, then we'll be able to send more people in there as well and treating them, because it's not a life what I'm going through right now. It's surviving methods, and it's actually, it would be very interesting for me. I will, hopefully, I'm praying God every single day to go back to a normal life. This is what I'm down to right now, because it's, it's not living to just survive, literally, on, on trying. Every time I'm eating a little bit of something, I'm sort of scared to see the reaction of my body. Yeah. And, and it's, it's just, it's a constant fear. So now I'm reduced to only be able to eat organic salad leaves that are not even pre-washed with cucumber without even the skin because my body can't process the skin. That's the only thing I can put in my body Because the trouble all is with something long. like that, if you're so terrified about God. eating, then that's when it can turn into no, an eating No, because disorder. the problem is I'm trying every single day saying, you know what, I'm going to still try. At least I give it a try. So I have a little bit of fish. Of course, I can't process protein. So I start to go into tachycardia. I have tachycardia is when your heart rate starts mm. to increase massively. And my body, it just literally, I have to drink and drink and drink until my body get rid of that substance I didn't want inside him. But I'm still trying because I love life and I love to eat and I want to be alive. But at Are the you end, in fear of your life? Well, yes, of course, because maybe one day my, my, um, my heart is going to stop because, you know, going through all of this is difficult. But I think my, my passion for life and my love for life is keep me going and I can't wait to be Monday in that clinic and just hope that and praying that the doctors will be able to treat me. And your treatment starts on Monday? My treatment starts on Monday, but I just want to, uh, to say that what I'm going through right now, I don't wish it to anybody because no. it's just absolutely horrendous. But life I've been through is this experience to me. And as a Wimbledon champion, I'm trying to fight my hardest to go through it and to survive. And I think when I will be back healthy again and happy and smiley, I just can't wait for that day. But I think my Wimbledon title is actually the strength I have inside me. Yes. To well, you're fight a champion. This. You're a Wimbledon it's, it's champion. It's why that yeah. keeps me alive as well. So I just really want people to understand. I don't do that to myself on purpose. It's, this, what I'm going through, it's absolutely horrendous. Have the and doctors said that they have seen this in other people, this, this mystery virus? They have seen other people reacting like this. It was, it's hard to name it because it can be, de depending on your genetics and your blood cells and the way it reacts, it can affect different type of things and you can be affected by other things. So for me, it's chemical or it's electric and some sort of food. Um, for others, it can be when they eat something that is too salty or too oily. It can, be it can have different types, but it's the sort of things that have, they have seen before. And yes. I guess that anybody that writes tweets like these or say things, just you never know what somebody's going through until you know. And also, right now, just give you the space to get the treatment that you need and hopefully get yourself back to full health. Yes, I, I hope so. But, uh, you know, when I, I'm just looking forward to being in Paris Fashion Week in October and present for FIDA, my next collection, and yes. what keeps me, that's what keeps me alive. And when I embroider my own shoes and I do that, you know, I'm just happy to do yeah. this. And I just, um, when I do things that I feel happy for, and that's why I was really looking forward to play at Wimbledon this year, because it was the third year of celebrating my trophy. And, yeah. um, well, you I were going just... to play in the Ladies' Invitation Exhibition Contest. Exactly, and I was just happy to just be on a tennis court and have a racket in my hand because... The doctors say you couldn't play. Exactly, which I understand because, of course, my health is so in the border limits. But for my mind, you know, it's a little bit the same when you have a kid that is in the hospital and suffer from cancer, and they have their best, you know, the biggest star they want to meet or something that comes and... and and meet them. It's just a moment of joy they, are, they have during the sort of health problem they, mm. they have. And for me, which is the same, which is sort of mental cure treatment of, of this moment of happiness and joy. Now right. I can totally understand the decision from the club because my, it puts my health, you know, really at risk. Yes. And that's well, I hope that, that whatever it is that you manage yeah. to get on top of it and get back to your, your, uh, your usual happy, giggling self. Thank you. Self. Thank, you, thank for you for coming, coming in. Thank you. thank you very Good much. Luck. Yeah. Thank you.